This is one of the craziest lures I have ever seen, but it might just be crazy enough to catch a fish. We're at one of my local rivers today doing some kayak fishing for smallmouth bass. Over the last few weeks, I've seen a ton of chipmunks up on the shorelines while I'm fishing, so I went online and I picked up this topwater handcrafted chipmunk, and today we're gonna see if we can catch a fish on it. As always, with every weird lure video, I have a second one of the exact same baits to give away to one of you guys. So if you wanna win one of these chipmunks, just watch the full video to find out how to enter, and it could be yours. Now let's see how this bait looks in the water. What a beautiful day to be out on the river. The water is crystal clear which is gonna make the topwater fishing even better. Now the only question is, are these fish gonna be hungry for a chipmunk? It is fairly large, so whatever bites this has gotta be giant. That just looks incredible. It has a really nice waking action. I think it rattles too, I can hear some rattling. Great action, great look. These fish are gonna love this. We're gonna keep on making our way down this river, keep making some casts. All I'm doing is looking for some deep water like this. We got shallow, fast current, and we got a little pocket over here that is calm and deep, and there should be some fish in it. Oh, he's right behind it. That was so cool. Come on, he's right there. That's a big one too. Smack it, smack it, come on. They're looking at it for too long and just not eating it. There he is right there to my right. Little one. I gotta find that giant out of here and get him to strike. I've fished this probably maybe close to a hundred times in my life. And I know as a fact there is some giant smallmouth. And of course there is some big musky and pike, but if I could just get a big smallie just to take a whack at it. That's all I need. And there she is. And she's off. Wow. Can't believe that. Must have spit the hook. Well, we know they like chipmunks. Now it's just a matter of getting the next one to bite. Can't believe I didn't get them. Wow. Oh, those are some big smallmouth up there. I'm surprised I didn't want to take a swipe at this. I guess it is a chipmunk. Probably not the most natural to him. 
still you think they'd want to eat it. Some of these guys will eat just about anything. Doesn't matter how big, how ugly, how crazy, they are just hungry in this river. Oh, there he was. Anything under that tree? Nothing that wants to leave. Look at all that bait fish. It is hard to compete with all that. Wow, that is just incredible. That's got to be close to 300 fish. Let's see if there's anything right up in here. This is where I could see some musky being. Just right up in this stuff. Well, that was a good, what, six hours of fishing so far. 
I think I'm going to pull out here and we're going to go try another spot. Since we spent most of the day chasing after smallmouth in this river with no luck, I think it's best to try something a little bit different and see if we can get some largemouth bass to chase after the chipmunk. I think I have a better chance at getting a giant bass to eat this than a smallmouth. I got a few spots in mind that I'm going to head to right now. We're going to finish off the rest of the night fishing largemouth. There's a couple good ponds in my area that usually hold some really big fish. We're going to go throw the kayak in the truck and head out to the first spot. I will see you guys in a little bit. Usually there's a few fish in this pond that like to eat top water, so hopefully they're gonna be hungry for a chipmunk. This action is just so beautiful. It looks so realistic in the water. I just love it. I know there's something in here that's going to want to eat this. I don't know what fish could resist that action. We're going to keep on moving down, keep making some casts, and see if there's any hungry largemouth in here. Got him! Fish on! It's a good one too. Oh my gosh. He got off. It's been two days now. I fished that river three times and I've fished today for nine hours, different ponds. That was a good fish too. They all just don't want to stay onto the hooks. I don't even care about the fish, it's just the fact that I finally got one to stick and got off. That's all right, we're gonna keep on going down and see if we can get another chance at one. Wow, can't believe that. Welcome to day five of trying to catch a fish on this. We have fished the river three times now and fished 14 different ponds. And I decided to come out here before sunrise today and see if I'd have any better luck hitting it early morning. We're gonna get casts and then hopefully get ourselves a fish today. Something was right behind it. What is that? Is that a beaver? 
Holy cow, that is a big beaver. I've never seen one that big. Fish on. And once again, fish off. I gotta figure out, I mean, how does a hook even get that bent? From a bass, it bent these hooks so bad. I mean, that's just, it's just crazy. I guess, what can I do about that? Had him on there for a second, but he popped right off. Felt like a semi-decent fish. Sucks these hooks are so bad. You know what? I feel much better now. Nice looking fish. Not exactly the species I was hoping for, but Fish is a fish. Beautiful one too. See you later, buddy. I am done fishing the chipmunk lure. I cannot do it anymore. I am just tired of it. I spent five days fishing it. 14 different ponds. I fished the river three times. I probably hooked close to 20, 25 fish throughout these last five days. Don't get me wrong, I love the lure. I am not a hater by any means. I love the lure, amazing look, amazing action. Not so amazing price, they are a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for, it's a handmade lure. But there's no need to use hooks you got out of a McDonald's Happy Meal. I mean, just, you think for the price. I mean, I'm just being completely honest. I paid full price, no discount, nothing, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But I didn't catch a single fish. It's not the lure's fault, it's the hooks. I still know I'm gonna get those comments. Oh, you know, it's not even the hook's fault. Oh, it's your fault. It's not. It's not my fault. I fished 11 crazy, big, giant, weird lures at these ponds. And I've caught a lot of really big bass on some even weirder lures with worse hookup ratios. And somehow I managed to still catch them. The hooks just bend way too easily. I ordered two feathered treble hooks, but they're not gonna be here till Saturday. And today's Thursday, and I wanna post a video for tomorrow. So it's nothing I can really do about that, but like I said earlier, I am giving away one of the chipmunks, and you better bet I am putting some high-end, really nice treble hooks on this chipmunk before I send it out to one of you guys. I got nothing wrong with the lure. I love it, it works great. The fish seem to really like it. We're getting a lot of bites. The fish just aren't sticking, so nothing I can really do about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said earlier, I am giving away one of the chipmunks to one of you guys, so if you wanna win it, all you gotta do is, of course, be subscribed to the YouTube channel with notifications on, like the video, and comment down below the most recent fish you caught and what you caught it on and you're entered into the giveaway. Sorry there's no fish on the lure, but you know what? We tried, we hooked a lot, they just didn't want to stay on. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. Until I see you guys in the next one, peace out.